All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna quickly talk about the absolutely massive update. I dare say, game changing update. That's coming to the global side of the game later next week. Should be on the same day as the scheduled maintenance, which is August 20th. And it's for version 4.11.1 or 4.11.1, call it what you want doesn't really matter but real quick before we get into it i do want to give a big shout out to my friends over at pain shop on twitter for hooking me up with some very generous prices on my dragonstones if you guys are looking to save yourselves a decent amount of money on your next dragonstone purchase then make sure to hit them up on twitter link in my description down below and uh, let them know that your boy tiger sent you all right so with all that said let's jump into it and it says here here's the first hand information on the new features the first thing they talk about is the long-awaited link skill level system. The feature link skill level will soon be implemented. As a link skill's level is raised, the link skill will receive an effect boost or acquire an additional effect. And a link skill's level has a certain chance of becoming or, or being raised after you win a battle. Okay, so if you guys want a full breakdown of how this system actually works, I did make a video about it. Uh, I think last week or maybe two weeks ago, so feel free to go check that out through the link above my head. But a quick uh, synopsis, I guess, is basically every single unit can have their links leveled up from 1 to 10. And as you level them up, they get stronger and stronger. They get better and better boost. So for example, Fierce Battle at level 1 is 15% attack. At level 10 is 20% attack. Big Bad Bosses. At level 1 has a 80% HP restriction, at level 10 has no HP restriction at all, just 25% attack and defense, and uh, links like, uh, what else, uh, Kamehameha for example, gets more attack boost, uh, Legendary Power gets more attack boost, and so on and so forth, and the best part about this in my opinion, is that it's a completely free to play system, so all you gotta do is bring these units onto different events, and every time you clear an event, there's a chance for their link skill levels to increase, right? So it's kind of like an RPG where like you're getting experience, but not really because it's not like linear. It's just a random chance for these uh, links to level up as you complete stages with these units. So that is the link skill level system. I'll probably do a video in a couple days where I can tell you guys like all the effects for all the links from level 1 to level 10, but right now I don't have them all memorized off the top of my head, but uh, a lot of them are really, really good, right? So there's the link skill level system, definitely hyped for that. Next up we have, let's see, oh, a few other notes here. Uh, please note that link skill levels will not be raised even if you win a certain, if you win a battle in certain events such as Extreme Z Battle. So essentially you can only raise link skill levels on events that require stamina and i believe there is a direct correlation between amount of stamina spent and the chance that your link skills will level up so for events that require zero stamina like extreme z battles or legendary goku event and so on and so forth there is actually no chance for links to level up on those events and uh, also it says please check the announcement introduction to new feature of link skill for more information on how the link skills work after the implementation of the feature. And uh, I did talk about this in the video I mentioned earlier. So once again, feel free to go check that out. And uh, also certain link skills effects will be adjusted along with the implementation of this feature. Please check the announcement adjustments to certain link skills for more information. So what they're saying is there are some links that are actually gonna be changed to be much better. There are basically some of the older links that had like really basic like flat boosts and now after the update they'll be adjusted to become much more relevant for today's meta uh, most of them basically went from being flat boosts to being percentage boosts and that does it for the link skill portion of this update and we also will be getting an optimized display of certain details in battle so it says you will be able to check certain information such as character skills by tapping and holding the enemies or allies character icon. So if you tap and hold one of your units on rotation, it'll show their passive as well as the level of their link skills and also which link skills are being activated. So instead of relying on you to, you know, try to catch all the links that are flying by when characters link together, uh, you can actually just hold the character and see which links are being activated 
and also what level those links are. So that's a very nice quality of life change right there. And if you tap and hold on an enemy, you'll be able to see their skills as well as any status effects that are applied to them. So for example, the cell here, if you tap and hold on him, it says that he cannot be stunned, he can not be sealed, and he also disables defense reduction. And uh, other examples are, you know, disabling attack reduction or the ability to stun you or the ability to dodge attacks and so on and so forth. And in my opinion, the more important part of this is the status effects because there are certain units that can only get additional, you know, super attacks or additional attack boosts and so on and so forth when the enemy is debuffed or stunned or something else, right? So that's gonna be really useful for that part. And also for events like Super Battle Road, where maybe you need to see if an enemy has been like sealed or stunned and you forgot whether or not that happened, instead of having to wait for the icon to flash up on the screen or like above the character's icon, you can just tap and hold on the enemy and you'll know for sure, oh, you know, the enemy's stunned, so I'm safe this turn or something like that, right? So this is also gonna be super, super useful. And in addition, the number of turns will be displayed on the battle screen. So once again, another amazing feature that we should have had a long time ago because uh, when it comes to like transformations, we will now be able to see you know, how many turns I've passed to know when, in, when a transformation will happen. And also for certain units that have turn restrictions on their passives, we can now know, you know, oh, I only have two turns before Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta's damage reduction is gone and I'm screwed, right? So that's amazing. And lastly, we have the optimized category filter. So the options full match and partial match will become available when you intend to filter characters by categories, which, which makes it easier to search for a character. So what this means is if you select full match, then if you're selecting multiple categories, like let's say you choose your Saiyans and Realm of Gods, then only characters with both of those categories will appear, like they fully match the categories you selected, right? And uh, units that have only one of the categories will not appear, but if you choose partial match, then all units with either Realm of Gods or Pure Saiyans will appear, right? So if you're trying to build a more specific team, for example, and you want units with like two different categories or even three different categories, then choose full match and only the units with all of the categories that you selected will appear in the filter. Like it says, it'll make it easier to search for certain kinds of characters and just make team building a lot easier for specific events. And that is pretty much it guys for update 4.11.1 or 4.11.1. And uh, as I said, man, it's a very, very big update. A lot of very important changes coming to the game. The link skill level thing, in my opinion, is as big as the hidden potential feature was a couple years ago. And uh, some of this other stuff is just gonna make playing Dokkan uh, much more uh, smooth, much less painful, right? And uh, I love it. I think it's an awesome update, one of my favorite updates in a long time for sure. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Let me know in the comments down below which of these features are you the most excited for? I mean, obviously most people are gonna say the link skill level thing, but I'm actually really, really stoked for the ability to like just hold on characters and hold on enemies to see what's going on with them because that was always something that I found really annoying, especially when I'm like streaming and I just lose focus for a second and then I forget, you know, what happened or like also the number of turns that passed. It's really hard for me to keep track of turns when I'm making videos and stuff like that. So that's going to be helpful as well. But uh, yeah, overall, just an amazing, amazing update. Obviously, we're still waiting for that update to the friend system where they can just give us maybe like a mirror match of our leader so we can actually run any team we want as opposed to like only running teams where uh, we can find friends for the like the leader, right? So that'd be nice, but uh, one step at a time, I guess. And this is definitely an excellent, excellent start. But uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. 
I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.